This is the first of five videos that can look at the important data structure of vectors. In this first video, we're going to make sure you're familiar with the concept of a vector and the various notations for specifying a vector. So what exactly are vectors in computer science? Well, for the purpose of computer science, there are many tasks or programs which need to be able to represent spatial information and movement in a numerical way. In mathematics, we can use vectors or matrices in order to store and represent this information. This kind of data can be easily stored in a computer program as numbers. And numbers can be used to represent information such as position, velocity, acceleration and force. Now we're going to have a better look at this graph and what these calculations mean in later videos. But for now, just understand the concepts of what a vector is and the fact that it's able to store spatial information and information such as position, velocity, acceleration and force in a numerical format. There are several ways that we can represent a vector using specific notation. Remember that as far as you're concerned, and in very simplistic terms, a vector is nothing more than a series of numbers which represents information such as position, velocity and force. So consider the following set of numbers. Let's see how you could represent this as a vector by using various notations. So here we're using simply a list of numbers to represent this vector. This is probably the simplest form. Note this is also known as a 4 vector over r, and it can be written using this symbol here. We could store a vector as a dictionary, which is a data type we looked at recently, in key value pairs. So we can have key 0 representing 42, key 1 representing the value 110, and so on. And again, this would be known as a 4 vector over r, or in this case, r4. We could quite easily store a vector as a one-dimensional array, where we have each element of the array holding each sequential number in our vector. And we could also store a vector as a function. And here's our example, where the domain is the set 0, 1, 2 and 3, and the codomain R is the set of real numbers, e.g. 0 maps to the value 42. 1 maps the value 110, etc. 